us at TDS believe that the SUV is probably the best car for you to take on a road trip. You've got enough boot space, everyone gets to travel comfortably and at the same time you don't really have to worry about the roads you're driving on. Uh, honestly, we've been working really hard and Jeep has just sent over their latest compass to us. And instead of making a video on it like a normal little car in the uh, city, we decided to take it on a road trip this time. So us at TDH, we're going to be taking the new compass all over to Divyagar and we're going to have a nice little lunch with the boys. So we're finally on our way now and uh, we put the map for the restaurant that we're going to be having lunch at and it's uh, showing us that we're three and a half hours away which is not that bad and uh, the roads are nice, they're twisty and they're all made of tarmac so I'm really excited for the drive as well. Uh, we've actually been trying to uh, go out for a nice company lunch or a company dinner for a while now but I just have not been very happy with all the eateries that we have within the city and I've actually been craving like some nice nice seafood so that is why we decided to make the trip to uh, Murud beach and um, I'm someone who prefers beaches over mountains and I love beaches so yeah it's gonna be super fun I'm really excited to have some nice fish and let's have a good time with the boys okay before we get on with this the boys are there it's just that they're in a su support vehicle behind us and Shrest is sitting with me doing the talking shot so we've got everyone here apart from Soham who's actually got some work at the office and he's actually just really done with traveling at this point so he decided to opt out of this one so here is the plan we have started our journey from our office here at the mechanics automotive in Pashan and drive all the way to Patil Khanawal in Murud the drive is 155 kilometers long and takes almost 4 hours to complete as it mostly consists of twisty roads for almost the entire journey and is a very scenic route. How would the compass fare along this journey? Only time will tell. We've actually stopped to admire the scenery around us and that also gives me a good chance to talk about the design of the car. We'll start off with the front where we've got an all new front bumper to the car and honestly speaking it's got subtle changes to it especially like the surrounds over here at the grille. In the previous generations it used to be a chrome finish thing which I honestly did not like too much. So now they've changed that to the same paint as you get on the roof. You've also got a de-chrome Jeep logo and one other cool thing that the front bumper now has is a front facing camera. In my opinion, the biggest change that has come to the design language of the Jeep Compass is that everything is now painted in the finish of the final color. In the previous generations, you used to get plastic body cladding over here at the rear and everywhere. And honestly, I think that would ruin the aesthetic of the car. But now you get the paint match panels. And honestly speaking, it looks like a very nice, well-finished product now. It does not feel very cheap. The plastic would feel really cheap to me in my opinion and um, over time the black color would start fading out because of well the sun and everything so that would not look very nice it would actually look very shabby in my opinion and um, I feel that this now looks like one solid product apart from that I mean the compass now gets brand new 18 inch alloy wheels and I honestly feel that they're a really really good design the earlier designs when they had initially come out with the compass in the market back in 2017 they were very so-so but this design definitely is a step up. The rear of the car is still pretty much the same. The only main difference that you'll probably notice is that you've got the D-Chrome Jeep logo over here again and at the same time now you get this new S logo that defines the S variant. Since we're already at the back I will also talk about one new feature that they've given to the new Jeep compass which is a brand new automatic tailgate which honestly is a gimmick I know but it does make your life pretty comfortable and at the same time as you can see the boot is pretty big it is 438 liters 
and honestly speaking it takes up the luggage really really well i personally used to have a jeep compass that i've taken on a lot of long road trips and for me and my family which includes my mom and dad we have gone on road trips and we've gone on trips that have lasted for longer than 10 days and all of the required luggage that we need all fits in the boot really really well and at the same time you've got a button right over here to shut the boot and now that the boot is going to shut we're still 3 hours away so let's get back on the road Soon enough we reached the beautiful roads of Tamini Ghat and my oh my it was one of the best roads i have ever driven around in pune let me just give you the basic numbers for the engine and the drivetrain you've got an automatic gearbox and you've got a 2 liter multi jet diesel engine that produces 167 bhp and 350 newton meters of torque which is quite a lot for this car this particular s variant is the 4x2 automatic so you don't you miss out on the 4x4 version but there is an option for that as well but honestly speaking i don't think you would require the 4x4 if you're going to be using the car for highway rides daily commutes in the city i mean the 4x2 is just a much better option and even though i did say that this car at least the interior of it is pretty perfect there are st- there are still some questionable things that i am not really happy with like for example i feel that the new infotainment cluster like the quality around this is kind of weak and i mean it's just too squeaky for a car that's not even done 5000 kilometers yet and more or less everything else is still fit and fine and um, i mean only time will tell about how the interior really holds up but still i just really hope this does hold well together i mean these things feel a little more solid as compared to the previous generation not by too much probably 10 20% more the one thing that i really do not like about this particular car is the gearbox i mean in the city on the highways it's it's going to be fine it's not going to be too much of an issue to drive with but the moment you're in areas like where we are in right now which is like tamini ghat and all of these places the gearbox just does not understand how to operate i feel it just goes hey why or it'll drop a gear it'll hold a gear randomly it just does not drive that well and i feel that because of the gearbox the engine feels slightly more rough my my car used to feel much more smoother and mine was a manual and uh, but yeah i mean overall it's the engine and the transmission at least this combination is all right it's not that bad but i feel that if you pair it with the manual then it becomes a much much better package a few things here and there i feel that they've at least ironed out is that for example if you started the car in the previous generations the car i mean it felt as if the engine would shudder and that was not the nicest thing to hear it was very concerning at times for me and i had checked all of my mounts and everything but everything seemed to be fine so i feel this has become much better now they've ironed out the small small issues that were there before but otherwise this definitely is a step up the other issue that i had with the interior was that for example if you keep your phone on charge in the wireless charging tray and if your phone is on vibrate and if my leg is on the dead pedal which it will be most of the times i do feel the vibration on my leg also so that is not the best feeling but i mean it's something you can live with so it's not too much of an issue
trip was absolutely amazing and I was having a great time driving the car. Even though the journey was 4 hours long, the Jeep took on all roads with great ease and with utmost comfort. It was planted in the ghats where a lot of SUVs don't feel at home and we were able to maintain good pace but was also comfortable on some of the bad patches of the road and the suspension is just perfectly set up to enjoy anywhere and it truly is a go anywhere do anything car. As we neared our final destination, the scenery got even better and I couldn't wait any more to have some amazing seafood. Finally reached our destination. This restaurant is called Patil Khanawar, if I'm not wrong. And uh, Bhavneet came here in the month of November for his Dominar ride, and he said the food was amazing. And that is the only reason we've come here today to try the food out. And honestly, I am super hungry, super excited to have some nice seafood. And we're just gonna do that now. Let's just get to it. We finally finished our lunch and we've come down to the beach to say our goodbyes. I mean, this view is very, very calming. All in all, today's day has been really great. The drive was great. The road was pretty great. The food was really, really great. And the Jeep Compass in throughout all of this has not let us down even one bit. Whether it be the right quality, whether it be the comfort that's there inside the cabin or Even if you look at it, it's not even let us down in terms of fuel efficiency. It took us one eighth of a tank to get here, and considering the fact that we've only been going up or down or up or down, it's given us fantastic mileage till now. So I mean, this looks like the end of the video from our side, and now we're going to head back home. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the video. My name is Tanay, and I'll see you in the next one.